Ten people are displaced tonight after a fire at an apartment complex here in Providence. Happened just before 4 o'clock at University Heights Apartments, and now two units are a complete loss. No one was hurt, and firefighters say that's thanks to a neighbor. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts spoke to the woman's daughter and joins us now in Providence with that story. Amanda? Seven adults and three children are without a home tonight after fire tore through this first floor apartment here at University Heights in Providence. Fire officials say it could have been much worse if not for the quick thinking of one resident. Um, it was a scooter, like a, I think something that had a battery in it. That's what residents say caused this two alarm fire in Providence Friday, leaving nothing but charred remains behind inside a University Heights apartment, displacing 10 people and destroying two units. She just started smelling something like sparking. She like looked over and she tried to put the fire out, but it was just too late. She wanted to get everybody out. Virginia Page didn't want to be shown on camera, but is talking about her mom, who was watching a movie when the fire broke out and is being commended for what she did in the moments that followed. She closed the door to her apartment, which helped isolate the fire and the stairwells that uh, are used to evacuate the building from the second floor. Uh, she also uh, ran uh, through the uh, common hallway to alert other occupants of the fire in her own apartment. That move prevented the fire and smoke from spreading into the hallway, potentially saving adjacent apartments and residents as everyone got out safely. Smoke instead poured out of the sliding door and outside, but firefighters had trouble accessing water and had to lay down over 1,000 feet of hose. As fate would have it, members of the Branch Avenue Fire Station were at University Heights hours prior, training on that exact issue. They were here identifying the buildings and the layouts and, and establish, you know, identifying their water supply um, for an event like this. As for the family, they likely lost everything, but are grateful for their mom for jumping into action. Things could be worse and everybody's okay, so that's all that matters. Again, two units here are a total loss. A total of 10 people are left without a home, and fire officials say the cause of this fire is under investigation. In Providence, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.